everyone welcome to serene kitchen today we're gonna make one of my favorite delicious dish musakhan it could be vegetarian and it could be a non-vegetarian the story behind this dish we make it during the olive uh, harvest season because one of the major ingredient is olive oil when we harvest the olives and we press it the first thing we think about it is musakhan musakhan is a palestinian dish known uh, all around the Middle East and Musakhan required the main thing and the most beautiful things is the bread. I buy it from uh, a bakery in Patterson. I'll make a uh, Palestinian uh, brick oven bread or in Palestine we call it tabun, khubiz tabun. If you cannot find this, which is not easy to find around here, the easiest option for everyone is the flat bread. This is the flat bread. It's uh, enough for one person. And the flatbread is available in so many uh, stores and supermarkets. You need one whole onion for one small, three onion if you have the big one. I love using red onion, but if you don't have red onion, yellow onion is, is will be fine. The second thing is important with a musakhan is sumak. And sumak is a Middle East uh, red spice, um, sour. It gives the onion the this, this, uh, this tingly sour taste. If you cannot find it, my friend gave me a small bag from uh, William Sonomo, but I like buying it uh, when I travel to the Middle East. I buy big quantity. I, I put them in the fridge and they last for uh, two to three years. The second thing is important is cumin. Cumin is so healthy. Me personally, whenever I have a dish with so much onion and olive oil, I get heartburn and I feel the best thing to comfort my stomach is cumin. And the second thing is aniseed and a little a dash of salt. First, I'm gonna take my four onions and chop them. I like it chopped thin, small, and then I'll bring a pan, medium size. After we finish chopping all the four onions, we move to the stove. I turn the heat to medium so it doesn't burn. I don't add anything as of now, just the onion. And I keep doing that for a couple of minutes to vibrate the water from the onion. After two minutes, we'll add the olive oil. And if you did not watch my hummus video yet, um, this olive oil came organic, fresh from my mom. Uh, she shipped me every year my supplies. As soon as we harvest the olive oil, the first meal for the whole family to get together was the musakhan. So we have four onions. I already add uh, two cups of olive oil and I feel I need another half of a cup. Okay, that's a good amount of olive oil. Move into the spices. Add the cumin, uh, one teaspoon to make sure I don't get heartburn or gas from the onion. The aniseed, again, one uh, teaspoon. And this is my secret recipe because aniseed is the best for your heart pain and for um, stomach pain and for a cold. One teaspoon, again, salt. I love to put some sumac, but I leave the rest uh, for later on. So I put, again, another one uh, teaspoon of uh, ground sumac, stir all together. We uh, wait for it to uh, the onion to soft. So as we said, musakhan, it's a vegan uh, dish, but you can add some meat to it. And Middle Eastern love the chicken with it. So some people boiled the chicken. Me, I like to bake it. So what I do with my recipe, I squeeze a little lemon. I one brushed ginger after brushing a little bit ginger i have one glove of garlic you're gonna love the garlic and the chicken i'm sure all of you love a little bit black pepper if you like we could sprinkle sometimes i do that give it a little nice colors red and then a little bit sprinkle of cumin a little bit sprinkle of salt and then my final my favorite I put olive oil in everything. I turn the oven for 450, that's the temperature. I will put it in the oven like that for the next 40 minutes. Again, we keep checking. Oh, so good, it's sizzling. The onion is getting softer. While we're waiting for the onion to be done, 
Waiting for the chicken to be done, we're gonna roast the almond. Almond sliced. I bought it yesterday from the store. Almond has a big story. Middle Eastern love to eat it while it's fresh and green, small size. We dip it in salt and we eat it. It's so good. So we used to pick the almond with my mom from the trees, take them home and build the green uh, shell and dry it in the rooftop. So every time we go up to the roof to hang our laundry, we always have the hammer with us. We crack them and eat them. So we put it in so many dishes. And in the Middle East, we toast the almond with a little olive oil. Add almond, add little bit, two tablespoon uh, of olive oil. I put it in, heat, in the heat, in the stove, and I keep moving it so it doesn't burn until it turns to a nice gold color. I'm gonna put it in a blade aside so we can decorate with it in the end. Let's check in the onion. Mmm, it's ready. The onion was cooked for exactly 20 minutes. Smells so good. There's a couple of ways. This is how my mom does it. So she fold the bread this way. So all the corners go in the oil so they don't be dried because you cannot get the moussach into the corners. Then you open it this way and you start. I like to use spoon like this with holes so I can drain the olive oil. I like to cook the onion in the oil, but not to have a lot of oil in the bread, so it's not going to be soggy. When we were growing up, every day we'll do the dough. In our way to school in the morning, we wake up a little bit early. We carry in our head the whole container full of the dough, our backpack at the top of it, and we walk uh, to my grandmother early in the morning. We drop it for her to bake it in her taboon. And then on our way back from school, we'll pick it up uh, and take it home to my mom. Okay, so we're three oldest girl, so we took turns. One time, I was in the third grade, holding it in the top of my head. My math teacher passed by me in the car. She saw that, and she saw my oldest sister, Suzanne, is just walking next to me. When she got to school, she called her aside, and she told her, your youngest sister is holding all of this dough in her head, and you're not helping. And Suzanne said, yeah, because we take turns. But this was my favorite dish when my grandmother does it, because she will bake the bread in the taboo, and then she does the onion with all the spices, and sumac will be growing in trees in her backyard. So we take the sumac, sprinkle it nicely in the top of the bread. Then the second thing I do, Almond. This is how I'm gonna decorate it. So the musafan is ready. So in the Middle East, that's ready. Me, I love it a little bit crunchy and warmer. So I take a tray, I put it in it, and I put it in the oven for a couple of minutes only to get that nice and crisp. Remember, I said if you don't have the big bread, you have the small one. Same thing I did with the big one. Dip the edges. So my grandmother um, lived long, healthy life. She died, she was 110 years old. And uh, my grandfather lived to be 115. And I used to listen to so many of their stories living under the Ottoman Empire. And my grandfather actually fighting uh, with the Ottoman uh, Empire in uh, World War One. So this is the small one. Look, it's beautiful. Add the sumac again, same ideas. One person size, almond to decorate. And if you're vegan, you can start eating. You don't need to wait for the chicken to be ready, but we're gonna show you how Middle Eastern serve it with the chicken. Mm. Nice, crispy edges, soft olive oil in it. Mm. So good. Remove it here. Now Musakhan is ready. Saha wa afia. Enjoy it. Cut a piece, either pizza cutter or the knife. I like to serve it this way. I give the person a piece of musakha with a piece of chicken, yogurt in the side, and enjoy it. Hope to see you again.